Hi, I'm Anders Liljeholm of the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry in Portland, Oregon. You may remember me from such exhibits as the vitrification of nuclear waste and combined sewage overflow. I'm here today to talk about detecting disease with nanotechnology. As you look at these shapes, you see how different shapes fit together. But each shape only fits with one other matching shape. These are models of antibodies and proteins. These molecules are at the nanometer scale, one billionth of a meter. Your fingernails grow one nanometer every second. Our body naturally makes antibodies that stick to particular proteins. And it does that because those proteins are found on different germs. These are models of different germs. This is the flu, this is anthrax, this is AIDS. You can see that each antibody sticks to the surface of just one germ. And these antibodies help our body, the white blood cells and the rest of the immune system, find the germs and destroy them. Well now scientists have invented a technology that can help us detect diseases far sooner and far quicker than we ever could before. These are models of gold nanoparticles with antibodies stuck to the surface of them. Also, this one's got a magnet in the middle of it, and this one has a bunch of pieces of DNA. If you're sick, a doctor would take a blood sample that would have the germs in it, and then add these nanoparticles, which would stick to the outside of the germ with the antibodies. And then they take a magnet and pull it out of your blood. And because the disease holds both nanoparticles together, we also get this nanoparticle that's got all this marker DNA. That's what this yarn represents. And this marker DNA is DNA that's really easy for us to detect. It's a predetermined DNA so we know what we're looking for. And there's a lot of it on this particle. So it's a lot easier for us to detect it than the tiny amount of DNA in one germ. If you don't have this particular disease, say you've got this one, then the antibodies don't stick to it. And when we bring the magnet in, the magnetic nanoparticle comes out, but the marker DNA stays behind. And so we detect that you don't have the disease with the green antibodies. What's really cool about this technology is we can test for lots of different diseases at the same time. Say you've got the flu, but we're not sure which kind of flu you've got. Or you've got some weird symptoms and we're not sure which of the different possible diseases it is that you have. We can test for lots of different diseases all at the same time by putting their antibody nanoparticles in. We could test for thousands of diseases in one blood test. So we mix in lots of different nanoparticles, nanoparticles for different diseases. They float around. The ones that match the disease that you have stick together. And then when you bring the magnet in, it picks up the magnetic particles for diseases you don't have, but it only brings out the marker DNA for the disease that you've got.